help video find vertical asymptotes algebraically. So you guys just have to remember when you solve for your vertical asymptote, you gotta set the denominator equal to zero. So, but first, uh, let's factor. So factor out everything you guys can first. So for number one, notice both of those are square rootable. So we can use a difference of squares for that one. So 2x plus 9 and 2x minus 9, right? The square root of 4x squared is 2x and the square root of 81 is 9. So there's a factor of that. For the bottom, you guys just factor out a 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1x. Negative 12 divided by 3 is negative 4. Now nothing cancels, so now we can do our vertical asymptote, you guys, which is set the denominator equal to 0. And then we can solve for our vertical asymptote. So 3 times x minus 4, you guys, is equal to 0. 3 can't be 0, so we know x minus 4 is equal to 0. We solve. So we have a vertical asymptote of x is equal to 4. <coughs> and remember, a vertical asymptote, you guys, is a vertical line. So you need to write this, x equals to 4. OK, number 2. So factor out everything you guys can. So um, x method right there. So we're going to get x plus 8 times x plus 1. And if you guys don't know how to do that, that is the x method, right? 8, 1, sorry, 8, 9, 1, and 8. Two things that multiply to 8 is 1 times 8. You add those together, it's 9. Okay, the bottom. So something you guys should be able to see is you can factor out a 3 from each term first, right? So 3 divided by 3 is 1, x squared minus 1. Negative 24x divided by 3, you guys, is negative 8x. Negative 27 divided by 3, you guys, is negative 9. So that's going to be at my bottom. So um, if we were to do x method, right, two things that multiply to negative 9, but when add is negative 8, that's negative 9 and 1. So we're going to have x minus 9 and x plus 1. So you see here, you guys, we actually have a cancellation out, right? So the only thing we're left with is x plus 8 over 3 times x minus 9. Now, we do vertical asymptote, so set the denominator equal to 0. So the only thing we'll have is x minus, these, x minus 9 is equal to 0, add 9 to both sides, x is equal to 9. And that is your guys' vertical asymptote. Number three, let's factor out everything we can first. So factor out a two and an x, right? You guys can factor out a two from two and negative 14. So two divided by two is one and negative 14 divided by two, you guys, is minus seven. And when you guys take away an x from both, we're gonna get x minus seven. Bottom, factor out a two. And then let's cancel everything that we can, right? The 2's cancels and the x minus 7's cancels, so all that left with you guys is x. Now set the denominator equal to 0, but there is no denominator, you guys, right? There is no denominator after canceling, so we're going to have none for the vertical asymptote. And lastly, number 4, let's factor out everything we can. Um, x method, 27, negative 12, we're going to get... Um, negative 3 and negative 9, x minus 3, x minus 9, all over, factoring out the greatest common factor from here, you guys, which is 2x. 2 goes into 2 once, which is why it's 1x. 2 goes into negative 20, negative 10 times, and we pulled away an x from out from both, so that's why it went from x in a second to x, and no x's. So we can't cancel out anything, so our vertical asymptote, you guys, is set the denominator equal to 0, 2x equal to 0, or x minus 10 is equal to 0. So what we're going to have is 
our two vertical asymptotes are x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 10.